This weekend, I had a fantastic time up on the coast of Oregon for my friend Joe's 35th birthday weekend, seeing some beautiful rainy nature in Oregon and photographing it all along the way. I actually alternated between shooting color and black and white film. That's right. I bought a box of Tri-X to bring with me on this trip and shooting black and white was a fun and rewarding challenge for me on the coast. I felt that it would just fit this nice rainy Oregon mood. And in this video, I just want to share some of those photos and some of the fun times on the coast. Yeah, this is the best weather day we have today, by the way. It's raining ahead of it. I am. You know how this works? This is for YouTube, Joe. <laughs> YouTube? <laughs> it's this new platform. I don't know if you've... Wait, is this going to Wheel Verb yeah, yeah. channel? The car channel? I'm glad you know the name, man. Thanks. Dude, that's why I'm here. Maybe. Like two years ago, I set a New Year's resolution to shoot more black and white. And then, of course, I did it once and never again. So here we are. Oh, actually, I have Porter in here. Let me finish that first. Now I have an open roll. I know. <laughs> My first round of black and white photos, aside from maybe a single image, was off to a pretty rough start. And I wouldn't expect it to go any other way. I don't think there's anybody who's picked up a roll of black and white for the first time in years and immediately took 10 great photos on a roll. What I did like though was the immediate change in my mindset and my approach that I had just knowing that black and white was in my camera. And this is part of the analog film experience, I think. It's the limitations that you set on yourself 
yourself before you go out and shoot that change your approach to how you look at things and how you frame your images. For the three days that we were up on the coast of Oregon, I would say that it was raining for the majority of the time. The Oregon coast certainly isn't known for its sunshine year round, and I thought this would be a really nice challenge to just take photos a little bit differently than I usually do. The rainy coast resulted in some beautiful clouds, some beautiful rain in the actual images. And I tried to use motion blur and long exposures to my advantage to try and take some images that embraced this weather rather than hit it or tried to make it look like something that it's not. It was a nice challenge and I really enjoyed the atmosphere in some of these images. <laughs> You're so cute. I don't know why he's so cute. It's the legs going. <laughs> I got the cheapest rental car possible, and this is what they gave me right here. 100 bucks for this thing for the weekend. It is a four cylinder, but not bad. The car channel? No, this thing doesn't make it on the car channel. With this Mustang? No.
What do you think? Do you like the viewfinder? No, 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 no. You don't want oh, this CL. Oh, we don't you... have to start him off like that. You want the black Start head. him humble, you, you know what M I mean? You want the MP. He doesn't need the red dot no, yet. No, 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 no. I think the photos on this last roll of black and white film happen to be some of my favorite images from the trip. There's some really nice textures and I think the light on the coast was just foggy, very atmospheric, and it really rendered beautifully on black and white film. Huge thank you to Maddie and Joe for having us out on this weekend. It was a fantastic time. I will link everybody, including my buddy Corey as well, who is with us down below. And finally, I just want to say a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, which is Squarespace. Squarespace is an incredible all-in-one website building platform that you can use to build your photography portfolio online. I've been using Squarespace for so many years now and they've made it so easy to get a website up and running with my photography. If that sounds like something you're interested in, you can hit the link in my description for a 14-day free trial of Squarespace. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com Willem for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.